Hello, everyone. Welcome inside the Red Earth Production Studios for another edition of YBM Cast, powered by Game 7 Baseball, Game7Baseball.com. Dot com. Guys are good. Yeah, we, we got it. that one smoothed out, I think. See, I think the only thing on the show we get correct, but it's good. Yeah, and uh, we have <laughs> Game 7 Baseball himself, Dave Pinning, uh, or at least half of it. <laughs> Better half. <laughs> Sorry, Schmidt. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, we started that one, didn't we? <laughs> uh, today, February 7th, last uh, last day for the um, 3 for 30, 4 for 40, and 5 for 50, correct? 11.50 to 9 tonight. It will, uh, if all unpaid balances will be removed from the cart, it will not kick you out of the tournament. However, it will remove those discounts. There you go. So if you've got them in there, make sure you get them taken care of. Get those uh, get those attorneys paid for. Hey, it's a good discount. Save yourself some money. The That's more right. you shop, the more you save. <laughs> Every day, game seven. How's it save? <laughs> I love that. There ain't even a shop and save around, is there? No, but we're going to bring it back. <laughs> Well, Bring back the shop and save. There yeah, you go. We shopped, we saved. That's so. right. Exactly. But uh, Game 7 Baseball, we're here talking today. We've got some cool stuff going on. Um, we're going to reveal some tournaments. YBM, I, I told you guys this way back. I was going to wait till February. We're coming out to uh, Game 7 tournaments. And I think we got a pretty good lineup uh, to start with. And, you know, picking throughout, it's not just all in one big cluster. There is one that's kind of – but because uh, – at some point, you just got to be there. We're going to our seven tournaments, which coincides with our Super 7 Scholarship Award. I, I think that was a lot of fun last year, Dave. What do you that think? That went over w really well. And, yeah. uh, you know, some of the the essays that were written at the end were very, quite impressive. Yeah. As, hence the winners was really impressive. And our first, uh, our inaugural winner, uh, Sean Murphy from the Edwardsville Spikes, Really like that young man, family, uh, very nice people. It was a lot of fun. And uh, he, he, his essay was really good. Yes, it was. And uh, I loved it because, you know, he, was, he, was, he referenced his, his faith and things like that. And at the end, the, that was one of the best lines I wrote. He said, because he's a catcher. Yeah. And he said, and, and it says, thou shalt not steal. And I was like, boom. <laughs> I love it. I you, I love that when like the younger kids get those custom masks done, you know, like the hockey style masks, and they get them custom painted, and they always put them on like the front of it or something crazy. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Now he's on the Braves. <laughs> he went from 14U to to the Braves, right? Sean Murphy. Oh, no. Okay. I I, I, I don't failed. think so. He didn't. I don't think so. He didn't. He's not no. the Braves. He didn't go from Double A to. Oakland and then get traded to the Braves you know speaking of Braves I got to check that that hat's pretty killer dude I like the Tama hatchet there yeah uh, the move with the tribe there that's yeah. a good look uh you know I'm a hat guy and most of our fans know I'm a hat guy and so uh this is one of their alternative hats and so I was like I gotta do it looks good I Mitch. gotta do it looks good I thought it came out very nice I, I'm shocked I haven't caught no heat for it yet but you know how it is <laughs> uh you may oh I'm I've already have uh, you just did. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting emails. Yeah, this is on YouTube. My, right? my phone is going off right now. We're probably going to get caught, shut down for copyright infringement. <laughs> oh no, it's not. I'm teasing. I mean, William Mary might get me for it, but <laughs> William and Mary, both of them. Yeah, <laughs> the both. tribe. It's just. <laughs> oh man, Game7Baseball.com. Go there. We got plenty of terms. There's a new one. Uh, go ahead. Uh, this week, this past week, uh, let them know about uh, what you guys got going on yeah, down in Washington. Yeah, uh, we added a uh, Washington, was that Ronsick Field? Is that, yeah, that pronounce that right? Uh -huh. Yeah, beautiful complex down there, turf in field. Um, uh, 15, 15U, it will be for mm -hmm. 15U. It's uh, June 9th through the 11th down there in Washington, Missouri. Yeah, is it just the one? Is you guys just doing the down one there? for now? Okay. Uh, there is another date that uh, we're kicking the tires on, but that is. Uh, available on the website right now and up and available for to register for and the cool thing is is uh kent getsy he was talking about they announced the players they have they have a lot ron they run that place down there they do a great job with it 
Uh, I know Justin's played down. You've probably been down there and played. Oh, yeah. I mean, a long time ago, obviously, <laughs> um, it was very different. But for high school sports, we've gone there and been in that area uh, for some high school sports for Timberland. So, yeah, uh, we've been in that space. Yeah, it's a really or nice seen it, at least. So I encourage you, 15 U teams, jump in that. You won't be disappointed by that. And, it's, 15, and it's 15 U. It's not 15 16s, no. and, you know, anything like that. It is a 15 U tournament. I, I just was looking at it as uh, we prior to the show, uh, you mentioned it to me, and I went and I was like, oh, that's cool. It's 15, just 15 U and, and everything else in the area because, you know, you get to the high school level, it seems to shrink. So you need to combine age groups. Uh, it was nice to be able to have an your age group to play in versus yep. uh, struggling against that older group. Yeah, and there's only room for eight teams, and naturally Washington Post has a red and a navy in there, so now there's six available spots, and we just posted it yesterday. So Very Get in. Good. There's, Very there's good. five. <laughs> five now. <laughs> Man, it's dwindling as we speak. <laughs> But uh, we want to get to this uh, YBM. We've been partnering with Game 7 First One. I remember going out to uh, the Dreamfields. Or it was, gosh, what do you guys, what did you guys call it? Grand Slam Park. Well, we're on the air, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were, we, but anyway, that's where we went. It was 2017 uh, World Series. No, that was Chesterfield, wasn't it? That was Chesterfield. We had a, we had a uh, right? we had a um, a skills competition out there one year. That's but, correct. And then the, the year that we you know, had management rights out there and ran it, it unfortunately was rained out. Yeah, and uh, so that's when we started that. We did that first World Series, and it's kind of taken off from there. And since then, we've had a lot of fun. This year, we're coming back with our uh, live streaming championship games for Team U. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. I think. I've been looking at the who's coming, and I think we're going to have some uh, some really good matchups there. I really do. Yeah, they're filling up nicely. Uh, you know, older boys, like I said, the 50, or I'm sorry, 60, 90 field space is uh, to minimum at some of these parks, and that's what the 13 and the 14 new age groups are, are really flourishing again this year. Yeah. So we're going to start off uh, at the end of March. Uh, first time you guys have done this with uh, the Midwest Rebels. But uh, the Midwest Rebels Invitational, March, yep. uh, I think it's 25th and 26th. Yeah, Steve and uh, Jason uh, came together, and, and they're a great customer of ours. And they typically had one in the years past out in Hawk Point. Mm -hmm. And we came together and said, hey, why don't we team up on this, and maybe we can add a little more spice to it and bring some more teams. And they very generously put every team in their club in the event. I think it's wow. up to like 56, 58 teams now. So that's a really good turnout for that early in, in March. So Yes, it is. Yeah, and it's at uh, Ozzy's. Correct. Right? It's at Ozzy's, C&H, and Westoff. And Westoff. Okay. Yeah, we, as we added uh, just this week, we split the 14s up because 60, 90 field space. We'll have Ozzy's A, we'll have the big field over at uh, Westoff, and then naturally C&H 1. They're opening up uh, two weeks early for us. So thanks to the staff and crew over there at CNH for accommodating us early. Yeah, that's awesome. To help provide that. for those four teams. Hopefully it's warm for you. Yeah, so do I, Mitch, because you never know. I mean, it could be warm. It could be uh, parka time, you know, with <laughs> snow on the ground. <laughs> it's well, March. I remember the first uh, event that you guys did at Ozzy's. It was it was windy. It was cold. And that was uh, second week of April. That was Arch Madness. Was it yeah, Arch Madness? it was yeah. the first, uh, sec first or second week of April yeah. is usually your, when that. Your tent was blowing away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was windy. It was cold. Good times. It's, it's what it is. It's I was, what it I was, is. I was getting sunburned and windburned. <laughs> I think I'm one of the few people that uh, gets sunburned in March and April, <laughs> like burnt to where I peel. Oh, man. Yeah, it's that bad. I love this next one, though, that we're going to go to because it's just, you know, it's Dodgers history. It's, 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 it's baseball, uh, you know, the 42 Turf Classic that you guys added this year. We're going to come out there. I think that's cool, Dave. Yeah, big, big, a big weekend for us that weekend. Uh, we have something in Kentucky, Illinois, Missouri, all over the place, so – uh, we did order a lot of 42 rings, so uh, we do have enough on style. They're really, really cool. They turned out really well. I'm, uh, I'm glad that we switched providers this year, and they did a phenomenal job on them. Outstanding. You guys have always had good rings. They're solid. Yeah. They're durable. 
uh, I, I've always liked what you guys have done with the rigs. Yeah, they're t high quality stuff, and these are even bigger and better. So Ooh. kids are really going to like a man coaches. Yeah, let's go. And I, I am now uh, privy. Uh, I mean, it was happening this past weekend. It's Saturday. The dude's wearing the drip. Oh, boy. Do you remember that conversation we had maybe a couple months ago about the stuff that I'm we lost. should not be saying? It's, a, it's the clothing. It's the oh. swag. Jewelry, that kind oh. of thing. You know, you're, you're dripping, is basically. Yeah, like the, the chain. All he needs to do is pop that chain out, and he's got the drip. Yeah. Oh, good watch. <laughs> I guess Something I grew new. up in a different era. No, no, no. It, it's, I told you, it's like I was trying to explain to Brian a couple months ago, or whatever, we had this conversation. I was like, these are things that we don't talk about. It's not <laughs> <That's> cool. <something. laughs> it's not cool for us. You know, I guess I'm the youngest of the group here, but uh, it's that not cool be, for us. Why? I'm just talking to the kids, and Evan Demario, he had some. He had yeah, some but serious, I'm sure you but had that, a look. man. That that was some serious bling. It's yeah, it's you're making your daughter snort over there. So <laughs> I know she thinks I'm funny. I don't care, man. People, whatever. No, I think it's cool that me. you don't care, of course. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she did you hear that? It's fantastic. <laughs> Dave, I don't understand either. Man, I, I don't. Trying to <laughs> trying to connect like with this age group and certain things that I would say or the you know the the no cap you know means no lie and uh, like learning that kind of stuff was uh, what lit meant versus when I was a kid to what it means now <laughs> as uh, two different things. You yep. know, it's like uh, trying to learn. Yeah, you got to yeah. keep up with the Joneses, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. Gotta stay in there. tune. So, what did you call it back in the day? Because we couldn't wear it in high school. We still now you can. Uh, a chain. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's what you got we a did. cool chain on, <laughs> Mister. Or no, I think I think what we here. used was like tight. That's tight. Yeah. That's, that, that's a tight chain. Know. All right, moving on. <laughs> uh, just a little interlude into the dripping, blinging. Uh, tightness of uh, jewelry game, of game for game seven. Yeah, there you go. Oh no, game seven baseball.com. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah, no jewelry at the game seven still, guys. Uh, <laughs> just <the t> <laughs> Dave looks so confused. You know, my head spinning when I walked in here. <laughs> uh, next up, always, uh, always the fun one. Senior Dave breaking out the Spanish at the old Cinco de Mayo. Crowd favorite. Everybody loves the sombreros, and uh, it's it's going over well again. Uh, the one we added at Max Creek at the Lake of the Ozarks is sold out, so that went over very well. The one here in, in St. Louis is getting near capacity too. So, well, that's the other thing about this. I'm thinking we're going to take a road trip down there to the uh, Max Creek with this one. Uh, it'd be interesting. Something we haven't done before we've all stayed pretty local but i think it would be an interesting trip to head down that way yeah it's a good tournament sold out already so uh yeah be a nice little road trip for you and beautiful complex yeah absolutely hang out by the the lake right yeah we can rent a boat and go skiing there you go we'll, we'll be out skiing we'll just let everybody else work <laughs> come back and cast well, fish are biting we'll take mitch along you know I, I got a I got a death finder and a fish finder. I ain't got one of them cool ones that tell you exactly where the fish are and how big it is and all those things. But live scope? Yeah, I don't have one of them. Wow. We're we'll, next week is the hunting and fishing show. <laughs> <laughs> We've already had that on here, I think, before. Uh, then we're coming back to uh, uh, the second annual Midland Invitational. It was a really good tournament out at BMAC last year. A lot of good competition. The uh, championship game was really good. So we're looking forward to that one again as well. Yeah, Matt Shadow, again, you know, uh, was pleased with the way things went off mm -hmm. last year. A another club putting all of his teams in there. Works out good for him as well. And thanks, Matt, and, and the band Midland Bandits. Um, yeah. That is on Mother's Day. It falls on Mother's Day this weekend. That's this right. Year. I saw that. That's cool. I, and you know what? That's all right. That's good. Uh, moms are out. Uh, following that, we're going to head to the Armed Forces Day Classic. This is one I'm hoping to get. I, I'm going to speak with Tom Rhodes, who's the state chairman, and we've been working with uh, American Legion Baseball, and hope to get some of the Legion posts come out and get involved in that. I think it'd be a great way to, you know, salute those uh, those veterans and whatnot as well. Absolutely, another big one for us. Another busy weekend, and uh, 
at our wars presentation, we make a big deal of it, which we should, you know. They gave us, you know, they fought for our, our freedom and what we have to do here and love every weekend. We, some of us take it for granted sometimes, but uh, we'd like to acknowledge all those who served our country, and we have them as a part of our awards presentation that weekend. That's awesome. So That's that would awesome. even be great if you can get him out there. Absolutely. That, that and the I know Tom, veterans, these are guys that, you know, as you said, put their lives on the line in very bad situations. So I do think it does remind us, you know, when we're out playing baseball, it's 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 not, uh, it wasn't for free. That's right. Right? There was a cost. Yeah. There was a price to pay for sure. Yeah, absolutely. State championships, always fun. Uh, we'll be back to the state championships. Game 7 does a great job with the, the state championships. But you guys open it up beyond Missouri, don't you, Dave? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a uh, state championship, but anybody from any state or city is, is welcome to participate in, in that event. So the Kentucky guys can come and say, hey, we're the Missouri state champs. <laughs> it's happened before. Yeah, I, as I say, I think I, I, feel Illinois, like, yeah. I feel like last year or several yeah. out-of-state teams have won those you events. You are correct, yeah. So that's, you know, we don't put our – Missouri it's State logo Missouri. on there, state. but, you know, hey, yeah. you know, it's fun. It's hey, a state championship. Just beat them, man. Yeah. Right. If Missouri you want, wants to represent, then we just got to beat them. Great point, Mitch. I mean, that's they don't pay you the big bucks or nothing, do they? No. They don't pay me the big bucks. <laughs> I, I don't even pay myself the big bucks. Get out of here. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sounded good. Uh, it, was, it was fantastic. I mean, oh, mercy. I guess if I worked more or harder, I probably would do all right. Never can tell. You're out in the woods all day. Oh, man, I, I don't work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There you go. See? That's what it is. That's Embrace the grind. It's going to change here in March and April, though, right? Oh, uh, that changes in three weeks when high school baseball starts. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Then I'm, then I'm working from, you know, two to whatever. Then I got my daytime job. I got to run the business. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's funny how the, uh, you know, you think you get to, like, the summertime, and it's like, I can breathe, and it's like, no, I can't. I got to get prepared now for tryouts, and I got to do this. I got to do that. I'm like, all right. Well, I love it, though. I wouldn't change it. It's baseball. I love man. doing what I'm doing. Yeah. I love to impact people in general. And I'm, I'm impacting everything from youth kids, high school kids, and even uh, I, I get a lot of buy-in from my parents. And so um, I'm getting a lot of that. So I, I enjoy it. It's important. There's something real quick. I'm going to do this because we're talking baseball here, and especially youth baseball. Dave, you, you see this. There's more buy-in from parents than there is all the nonsense. And I always, I come back to this, I don't like, yeah, there are some parents that are problems and they're always going to be, but the majority of parents want the best for their kids. They buy it, they're there, they want to help. That's what it's about. So kudos to those parents. Get, let's talk about the, the majority of the parents that are there because they're enjoying it. They love their kids. They want them to succeed. Let's give them the kudos, right? I agree. Well said. We always pick on them. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm guilty of the same thing because it's just like if you have bad service somewhere, you go out and you tell 20 people that you have bad service. If you have good service, you go out and you tell one or two people. Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't, you always, we're, <clears throat> we're complainers for the most part as humans, you know, and so when you have one bad parent, you it's every parent's bad. Yeah. It's really not the case. It really no, isn't. It isn't. But it, it's also, to me, I think it's up to the coaching staff. It's up to the organization. They don't have to allow that stuff. Well, that's what I was going to say. I think some of this is catching up to people because, uh, you know, those bad apples, as, as we refer to, uh, some of these club owners like yourself are like, hey, you know what? I, I don't want that image. Your kid is a phenomenal athlete, but, you know, I can't have that representing my brand. And, uh Good for those guys to yourself and club owners like that because it does. It it puts a mark on your brand. It does. Well, it's just like this past weekend. Uh, did you guys see the thing about the St. Peter's Hockey Club, the parent that jumped the ice and it was an 8U hockey team? Oh, my goodness. Jumped the ice, walked to the other side and complained of fit and, and adjusted himself in front of all the kids and all the parents. And it's 8U hockey. You know, th this ain't even uh, the next level type stuff. And it's on a lower end of it. And it's like – what are we doing as a society in sports? I, I, it's just nonsense. The fights that are happening, um, I understand emotions, but that's like players and coaches and stuff like that. Um, let them have the emotions. And typically, for the most part, coaches can handle themselves. Yeah. For whatever reason, parents jump into stands and get involved in that kind of stuff. Unless your kid 
is in a bad is put in a bad situation by a, an adult um let the kids handle themselves let the let the coaches handle themselves gosh stay stay out of it we'll come back to that point here in a moment world series <laughs> there was the downer world series looking good <laughs> looking really good 13 different states represented 13 yep. i love that that logo also is amazing is that the one you behind me? That? That's the that's one a, behind you. <laughs> <laughs> that it is, is the it's one a cool behind. logo. And uh, the World Series, always always a, a great way to end the season. We enjoy coming out. We were out last week, last year. Had Coach P out there talking yeah. baseball. That was cool. Hopefully Coach Perkins will come out with us again this year. Maybe we can get some other guys come out and hang out with us during the um, uh, skills competition. But that was a lot of fun. Yeah, we got some really n nice awards playing for the skills competition again. Always a crowd favorite. And mm -hmm. here again, you know, at, uh, that's what separates us above, you know, above and beyond. And we make it an event, and that is one portion of the event, you know. People love that. You know, it's going to be held on uh, Wednesday uh, afternoon before our opening ceremony at Bush Stadium. Absolutely. And we're going to be out uh, broadcasting again. We're going to do some live streams of some games out there at uh, – this year, though, it is at BMAC. It's at BMAC, and we will have an age group over at, uh, on the turf at O'Fallon, Illinois. Okay. All right. And I'm um, looking forward to the 14U championship there. World Series, I, I, I really am. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to try and uh, add an extra camera um, and, and, again, beefed up. I love calling these games because it's a whole lot of fun talking. You get to learn a little more about these kids, and especially as they're heading into high school. You know, it's always a lot of fun, uh, the, the, the event walking around, especially the young kids with the trivia. Kid knocked out Pete Rose's hit. I was like, dang. This time we'll try to get you set up away from the DJ a little bit. Not, <laughs> not, not when you're set up right with the speakers blaring on you. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. We'll get out to the ballpark and we'll see. And, you know, we'll get in the crowd. You know, it's always fun to just be right in the middle of the crowd. Oh, it? they'll find you. Yes, just like they did last. <laughs> oh, they'll, they'll definitely find you. I, I didn't I didn't get to make the opening ceremonies or the skills competition no. last year, so I, I was trying to watch it, uh, and you know, going back and forth. And I just thought it was a, a good time with what they were doing. And of course, some of my guys had done a pretty good job in the events, and so uh, you know, I was pretty pumped uh, get, getting yeah. to hear my guys talking to me, kind of a little <laughs> gun shy on on camera. I was like, we got to do better. The tribe got a lot of air time. Yeah, we, well, we started off pretty good, and then it, the rain got us. Yeah. yeah. I, I, you know, we, we had uh, that really nice ball game, that one nothing ball game, um, and I, I thought that Against team was – Against the Indy Clutch. Yeah, that team probably would have taken it down at the end of the tournament because they were pretty darn good. Yeah. Um, thanks, so thanks for the rain for at least <laughs> – for that part, I didn't want to face them again, yeah. but – they were good. They had size. We just we just had a crafty lefty uh, that day. But I, I did. I watched it. And it was and you know if you can't be there as a parent because you got to work or something like that. But you know grandma can get your 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 child there or something. You, you know, it was live or whatever. I guess. Yeah. Actually, so, that link is still on the website for this year's um, World Series. You can click on there. It gets hit pretty good. People are commenting about it all the time. So that's available if you want to refer. Uh, what yeah. we're talking about, yeah. that link is on, on the website, on the front page there. You click on the World Series, and uh, it says skills competition video or something of that nature. Yeah. So there you go, right there. Appreciate that, Dave. Hey, man. Partnership That's is good what stuff. it's all about. If we got some rainouts, we got a couple opportunities. Uh, we talked maybe about the uh, best of the Midwest. That's in Branson, you know, if we see Cinco de Mayo kind of goes uh, spring showdown. We got a couple dates that uh, – you never know with uh, with early season rain and or snow. <laughs> snow. Yeah. You never can tell. That's right. We, we were it supposed happens. to have a bad winter, and I'm like, where's this bad winter coming? So I'm assuming that it's going to be late February, early March. We're going to have some of this so-called bad uh, we'll weather. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully not. Hopefully no, not. gosh, no. It's hopefully baseball not. season. Yeah, I don't hopefully want none right. of it to Baseball happen. season. Hopefully. Because it's game seven time, and that's, that's the way right. we want to roll. And, uh, you know, so – we got some great tournaments coming up. We're looking forward to it as always, Dave. And and you know the if you're watching, remember get your team signed up because there's um you know I know these are the you know is there some other names popping into your head? I know you got some great stuff over on the Edwardsville side with the turf. I think the Easter one you do over there the. Uh, Easter is actually in O'Fallon, Illinois this okay. year. So yep, uh, but no, we have five dates over at Plumber Park. Beautiful. 
facility over there in Edwardsville. So, yeah, we had five dates over there. Oh, Fallon, that park is nice oh, too. Oh yeah, turf they turfed it. Yeah, it's uh, we're over there. Our, we get uh, one weekend a year, and this uh, this year the Easter weekend is our weekend. So very good, very good. So that'll be a Friday night and Saturday only. Yeah, we're also going to be heading up. We're starting uh, our uh, winter workout tour. We started this last weekend out at PBR. We're going to be heading up to Quincy this weekend. Yes, indeed. We're going to roll up there and talk to some folks and stick a camera in their face and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, they're ready. I talked to Darren as, a, as I'm pulling up here, and uh, he's getting everybody lined up for it and looking forward to it, so it should be a good shoot. that would be fun. We're going to have a nice tour stop up in Quincy. We haven't been up there before. Some, uh, you know, as far as they do the tournaments there, Q-Town tournaments, Darren, and uh, some of the clubs up there. So I'm looking forward to it, man. It's always nice to go into a place where you haven't been before, meeting folks and and uh, that's always a lot of fun yeah um i don't want to spoil too much but i think he's got some uh he's got some important people coming on lined up uh, you know a couple of high school coaches that are also coaching youth sweet hence mitch here my buddy yeah. mitch yeah and uh i think he's trying to get the athletic director of quincy university on sweet who has a 8 youth team no kidding yes. That's awesome. And Quincy, they got a nice program. They they're, do. they're they're doing really well. Uh they won their regional last year in Division Two. And so I mean their program's on the rise. Nobody's talk nobody talks much about Quincy, but they got a solid program. And that's there. gonna get you some exposure up there too, you know. New, new market up there. Absolutely. So new followers. So we're gonna we're gonna be heading down to we'll be around the area here. We're gonna head down towards uh, the southwest as well again. Try and get uh, down there to see some of the folks. Hopefully, we drop in on the Bros Brothers and say howdy. Is that how that? Yeah, works? they're all they're all coming to the World Series. Jay and his bringing his group up, so it's good to see that. <laughs> I'm making mental. <laughs> That's how they say howdy. <laughs> howdy, partner. You don't say that down in the Southwest. <laughs> <laughs> they might say pop and. And sacks and stuff like that, but I don't. I don't hear him saying howdy. You got a maybe a Nixa? I don't know. I don't know, dude. I'm just messing around. <laughs> oh, I'm killing him. But so we got all that coming up. Winter workout tour. We got. It's getting crazy busy. Uh, we're looking forward to it. I know Dave and Dave are, are zooming. But before we before we move on, we want to do this. We are our, our, we partnered uh, recently with uh, Prime Sports. Midwest Sporting Goods over in Fenton, 1550 Ocella Drive. That's what it is. It's in Champions Village. Rick Benz down there, uh, Sal McGee. We've got a – Dave, you want to hold that? We've got a little starter kit that we're, we're putting out here. Um, you can uh, give I'm, that I'm, over to me. You, you, you got Stick that in his we face. Have, we, don't, we, don't, we don't – why? <laughs> <laughs> I have he heard I that. have a face for TV. <laughs> there you go. I, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. <laughs> Maybe radio, but <laughs> but uh, first and foremost, remember it's not too late. Uniforms. Everybody needs a uniform. You want to look good. If you look good, you play good, yeah. and that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he said. <laughs> I love that. So well, uniforms sorry. are there. Rec teams, uh, large clubs, they can handle any size down there at uh, at Prime Sports Midwest. Uh, they got fantastic fanwear. Their stores, up to eighty percent of the uniforms and the fanwear are decorated in their facility. In there, it's the quality control, design, creativity, deadlines. Most importantly, I love this because we we do this a lot. Dave and Dave locally owned, and and I think that's a I think that's a positive thing. They focus on customer service. They can uh, you can come to the store, work directly with the staff there, the items, whatever the case may be. They'll get you taken care of. They have a retail floor. It's really nice. I've been in. Have you been in there? Yes, sir. It is a great. They have a really nice retail floor, and especially with kind of everything's gone online, it's kind of nice to hold something in your hand from time to time, isn't it? Before you buy it. That's right. They, they, I'm an old guy. I guess. Yeah, they have bat testing in there too, so they yes. do pull you know uh, some of the newer bats off the you know off the shelves, and you can go in there and and try a bat out before you buy it too. And it's been a long time since 
uh, you've been able to take a bat, you know, and swing it before you buy it. So, uh, and with the price of bats these days, that's a, I think that's a big deal. <laughs> I agree. I and agree. don't forget too, like, I know I say it every time we, when we bring up uh, conversating about prime sports down there is that when you do your team stores, it doesn't, it's not two weeks and shut it down. It's, it runs. And so as soon as you put your order in, they, you know, they, they uh, produ uh, produce the order and then send it out, whether it's you pick it up or, uh, you know, get it shipped. So the store can stay open all year long. So if you want fan wear because, you know, when you get paid or, you know, tax times right, right. around the corner, um, you know, you can order your stuff anytime. Very good. It's printed, sent out or you can call you and pick it up. Right from the client's mouth. <laughs> and be on the lookout. I'm going to get with Rick after I leave here uh, and team up with uh, two sponsored events for Game 7 this year. Oh, there you go. Look at yeah. this, man. I love that. And that's the thing. And I think, you know, Dave, we've been doing this a little while. Don't don't let that. You can put it down for a second so it ain't in your face. I just I, want, to, I want to see you. But, yeah, yeah, I get you, buddy. I get you. But, you know, that's been the cool thing, Dave, is, is the partnerships and how that's all grown locally here with Game 7 Baseball. And just the whole flow of it and people getting involved in the youth sports. And uh, it's been really fun. Yeah, we're big on local as well. And uh, got to throw Sal out there for a minute. <laughs> we, had, we, we, we partnered with Academy, uh, you know, nationwide brand. He's like, yeah. hey, this is great, but local would be better. And I said, all right, Sal, let's go. I picked it up. And he, he kind of chuckled about it. So, yep. So, yeah, it's coming full circle. So, yep, two, be on the lookout for uh, two dates there coming up. Uh, we should have those ironed out and uh, available on the website here by the end of the week. Outstanding. Prime Sports Midwest. Make sure primesportsmw.com. And now they, they're they they're providing this for us. Rick Benz and Sal, we have the youth baseball starter kit for you as a coach. We got a bucket with baseballs in there. Got a dozen baseballs. And those are the high school ones. Grab that out of there, Mitch. Those are the. Uh, oh yeah. Those are the, those are those are good good baseballs those are the right there. R O L B ones. What are they? R man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He knew it. That's why. Is that why you're a director? Not, not I hitting can't baseball read. Because he can't, can't see. Read. Yeah, that's the R O L B ones. Yeah. It's good yep. baseballs. Good baseball. And we got good the, seams. Got good seams. Yeah. Yeah. Good seams. I'm sure they're hearing that on their side. So yeah. <laughs> Crinkly. Crinkly. And we got the fungo bat, the old Louisville Slugger 36-inch fungo bat right here. And then on top of that, we've had, they added the Marucci uh, hitting net, portable hitting net that you take to the ballpark as you see everybody setting up. So, I mean, you got your, your infield out, you got your in and out, you got your, your, your baseballs and your bucket and uh, that you can sit on, uh, you know, when you're giving the signs. <laughs> Outside, Outside the there. dugout. Yeah. <laughs> Which every every umpire and every director loves, and uh, and you're hitting that here, uh, great starter kit, and we're doing this. If you want to enter to win this package, uh, we're looking youth baseball Midwest. We want to get to a thousand subscribers. Now that doesn't mean you can unsubscribe and resubscribe. That doesn't work. We have those lists, so you have to subscribe. If you've not subscri subscribed, please subscribe and. One other thing, right, Lauren? You have to throw in there in the in the comment below your name and we love Prime Sports Midwest. There you go. That's that that'll get you in the drawing to win this. You got uh, <laughs> you got to subscribe, subscribe to Youth Baseball Midwest. Put your name in there and we love Prime Sports Midwest. I love that. What about personal hitting lessons from the big guy here? <laughs> I, I, you know, listen, that was funny prior to the show starting. <laughs> now you put now me they're going to be putting I'll it in the what, comments. I'll do it. Oh! I'll do it. What? I'll do it. And a free hitting two. lesson? I'll give two. Two. One fielding, one one hitting. From Mitch Thomas. Look at that. He's adding to it. Right? Dave, it. You, you, you shamed him into it, bro. Whoa. <laughs> no. You know, I'm you know, kidding. No, no, you know what's going to happen. I want 60 bucks off my tournament, not 50 bucks. <laughs> so we're good. Uh, Turn about's fair play. Right. Turn about is fair play here. We're all networking. Yes, there will be all opportunities on social media. We'll be sending this out, sharing this out. Please subscribe. So we've just added to the mix. We got a couple of uh, uh, lessons in fielding and hitting. We got a bucket of baseballs, fungo. We got 
it's great stuff. It's time to go. It's go time. We want to get to a thousand subscribers and we hope that uh, you're enjoying the content as well so we're thanks close. to we're close too right yes we are we 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 broke 900 so we're on our way to a thousand i love that and i appreciate it i appreciate these guys uh you know game seven baseball all the clubs mitch include you know all the clubs and that's one of the things i, I want to make sure and that's uh the the guys that come on here is like mitch we talk about all the other clubs just as much where i it's no it's not Mitch is here because he wants to talk baseball. And uh, so we appreciate the support from all the, the youth baseball clubs throughout the state and people that, that uh, watch the show. We never want to leave anybody out that way because it's all about youth baseball for us. I'll tell you what, you know, I want to push you over that threshold. The big guy here is doing it. I, will, I don't do this much, but to get you over that, I'll autograph this. <laughs> oh, <man>. Autographed <laughs> no, Dave Penny no, no, Fungo. No, it only counts if Tell you, you get, what. if you get Dave Schmidt to do it as well. <laughs> I love it. There you go, baby. Autographed. Autographed. He then you can go stand by a statue outside Missouri Baptist and get, get that picture. Yeah, well, what time is it? he'll be out there bronzing or waxing it down, bronzing it, polishing it up at eleven thirty. Absolutely. Do the pigeons sit on it? <laughs> a lot. All right. So we're gonna I'm hang, gonna on, put hang, this on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't you wait. have to put that up to Don't show put, the fans how to do it? Oh, not not right now. I'll have you come over. We'll come over uh -huh, to your so facility. This is, this is how it worked. I was trying to get him to do it on the show. Just watch it pop open. And I, I, I don't know if you guys remember the old jugs. Yes. Okay, so. And the, it would pop open? Yeah. Well, I got hit in the face a couple times. On yeah, that. I got hit somewhere worse. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, so at the time, I was coaching softball, and I had a coach. that light. They were light blue, right? Yeah. And I, they had to, I knew nothing oh, about this man. thing. And he, he goes, just throw it out. So I just threw it. <laughs> It out and that thing unraveled and came right back at me and split the uprights man i went down i don't think i moved for 30 minutes split the uprights i was out 30 minutes i, I and you know and i'm it coaching would hit you hard because oh, it's metal it was metal in those in, no it in wasn't the, the 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 there was that fiberglass, fiberglass oh, okay. uh, rods right. and uh whoa and I, you know, and at the time I think I had like a 15, you know, our girls were like 15 years old, you know, it's my daughter's team and they're all laughing. And I, it, so this is pregame. This is pregame. Did I, you make it to coaching? No, I wasn't prepared. Uh oh. I, I had ice. I had ice on me. Yes, <laughs> I looked like I wet my pants. I, it's like, I didn't care. I was down. I, I thought I needed to go to the doctor. I'm telling you. It's I'm going to hurl. Where the good Lord. I'll tell you, man, th those things were dangerous. They were. You did. You had to th just throw yep. it up. I threw it. I, I, I no longer used that. And I went out and uh, I got me a, uh, you know, at the time was a different brand. Uh, got me a, a pop-up net that was much easier to handle. Those were, those were, they were nice, but. They were a booger to put up and down. Yeah, because you had to fold them just right. Oh, you know what's man. you know what's interesting to me though is is in the softball community, you see these nets everywhere, but in baseball, it's starting to kind of happen. Uh, you don't see them as often because I guess some of these fields, you know, with baseball, they have they have uh, batting cages and stuff at times, but you still don't have enough room. No, you know, because you you have so many teams at an event, you need these these nets, and I have them from the softball world. That's Lauren, throw the comment button up there. This is uh, this. If you've had the old jugs net, we want to hear your story. So, uh, send even us, the bad send, ones. Put it, like put it in the, yeah, boy, boy, boy you open up a can of worms. Absolutely, up. want to hear that? Put comment below. Right I bet there. you, I'm not the only one. Now, this isn't for the subscribing. Subscribe and say we love Prime Sports Midwest. That'll get you in the uh, and, in the drawing. But and we want to hear about the, if you had a miss uh, mishap. With the old jugs. That's what we'll call screen. it. A mishap. mishap. <laughs> and if you have video, even better. Even better. Exactly. We'll put we'll put it on. We'll make you famous. And it's a surprise. Absolutely. It happened so fast. It did too. It's like ninety-three <laughs> coming right out. at you. <laughs> All right. Moving right along here. Uh, we we mentioned earlier the top award, tournament outstanding player, super seven scholarship award. We're gonna give those out at these seven tournaments. Uh, we did this last year. It was it was a lot of fun. And uh, remember, though, the, the recipients of this top award, um, and I'm, I'm working on, uh, we, we may even have, I know we still have some hats that we're going to give away the, for the Game 7 top award hat, but we're also looking at uh, 
Well, we may have a uh, a, a bat, or a personalized bat for a trophy and whatnot that we can give away. We're working on that, so I'm looking forward to that as well. So up in the ante, up in the game, get you involved, and we we're looking for. There's been some kids that re- had some really outstanding games that have won this, and there's been some kids that have had some outstanding games that haven't won it. So I mean, it, it's it's. A lot of fun that way. So we've got uh, there will be an essay that you have to write at the end, as Dave said. There was some really good stuff there. So uh, our second year with the uh, Super Seven Scholarship Award, uh, and I think it, it's it's a way that we can k- kind of give back into the community, right? Now that's the ones that we just went over with, right? The, yeah, the seven of that, that, that you're going. That, that's correct. correct. The ones we're going to be at, and uh, like I said, we got some rain out stuff involved in that, just in case, because I want to try and get it to that seven, because yeah. I I think that's that we I think we we missed one because of rain, and we didn't have a makeup date in there, so we we did the best we could. There you go. We'll put that in the description under the uh, event info page too. Oh, perfect. And I, and I think that's great. You know, we're, we'll live stream that. There's a championship. We do the interviews, uh, trying to make it up good for these kids. Um, and I think the coaches enjoyed it as well. Yeah, the kids really liked it because you know what? You're going to make them famous, right? That's right. We'll make them famous. Heck, I think I was in five of those events, and I've seen all those kids that, that got these <laughs> awards. And I'm like, man, they're, they're pretty darn good. I, I think that's what's cool, too, though. Like, you, you mentioned it earlier about just – they're getting ready to go into high school, you know, and stuff like that. And so as a high school coach, it's kind of like, okay, where are they going to be at in a couple of years when I see them at the varsity level or, you know, depending on the school that they're at. But um, I think the first kid that I remember when he maybe is O'Fallon, Illinois, or it was Ozzy's or something was, I think, the Shipman kid from the Illinois Gators. I think No, was like it was Simo, uh, Simo Cardinals. Was he the first one to, was he the first award? No, that I think was, it was the Illinois Gator. It was. It was, the first, awesome. it was Shipman was the was Simo over. I got you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But he didn't win it that that year. He had a great game, but he didn't win it because uh, it was a it was the catcher from the Bandits that won it that year because they beat it come back and beat the the Cardinals. But Shipman hit a bomb and hit one off the wall too. Yeah, well, he lit us up and he pitched against us <laughs> and. <laughs> Uh, he caught and pitched against us in the same game. I'm like, what's this kid? I got to check his card. I mean, it's like, what's his driver's license say? Not yeah. his state ID. It's, you know, uh, so who won that, though? Um, uh, the first one, the yeah. Illinois game, I'm trying. And the terrible thing is you put me on the spot and see the gray hair, it's sucking. Yeah, that's why you can't say the, the word drip. <laughs> <laughs> he said that out loud. Right back there. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to remember the young man's name. Uh, Wolf was his last name. Did he catch? Was he a catcher no, too? He I... was in the outfield. Okay. Uh, his last name was Wolf. I can't remember his first name, but uh, he had a home run in that championship game. Uh, he was lights out. Hit a triple, I think, as well. Um, but he had a he had a really good game. I probably should know a little bit more. Maybe I should watch the show. Maybe I should subscribe. <laughs> what happens if I win? And I'm a subscriber. We'll give it to somebody else. Okay. I mean, I am a subscriber. I mean, I do. I got like four oh, emails that all, I subscribe all, to. All maybe. participants in here, you know, we got to keep it. You know, people go, "Oh yeah, you just gave it to him." You know, that kind of thing. Oh, I love that controversy. No, like uh, Chinese balloon stuff. We're gonna finish up today, though, talking with Dave uh, <laughs> about the the important subject. <laughs> I don't know if you heard me. <laughs> we're just moving on. Okay. Uh, which is umpires. It's always the most, uh, I think it's the most important thing because you can't play if you don't have the umpires. That's right. We do have some good ones and, uh, you know, but each year it's always a, a challenge to get them out there. And we were very, very fortunate last year to, you know, there was one weekend, I think it was our biggest weekend of the year. It was extremely hot. A couple of guys came down with a sickness and we were forced to have one guy on the field, um, uh, Typically, don't like to do that, but the guys that we did put one guy on the field, they did a phenomenal job. I mean, <laughs> a couple of coaches came up and said, "Hey, you know what? I love your umpires, but you know this one guy did better than some two of them." <laughs> but uh, yeah, you have to focus when you're on a yeah. one, when you got you and you're by yourself. Yeah, it was it was some of the veteran guys that we put out there. You know, we took care of them. You know, but. Uh, yeah, very, uh, our signers do a great job shaking the trees and getting them down there. It's not an easy task whatsoever. It, it is really not. And uh, to get good guys, uh, it's a chore every year, but we're, we're very 
very thankful for the guys who, who are loyal to us and come out each year. And we're looking forward to seeing them next Saturday at our annual meeting, Brian. That's the 18th. So anybody watching the show wants to come out and get some information, maybe kicking the tires on uh, maybe umpiring, mm -hmm. come on out. And uh, one of our directors, uh, Big Lynn, said, hey, you know, why don't you have uh, like a, a swap shop, a table there, guys bring in some of their old equipment and put their name and number on it and, and put it up for sale at a reasonable price to kind of help some of these younger guys or guys who are looking to upgrade their equipment or get some new equipment. And I thought it was a great idea. So thanks, Lynn, for that. And uh, be on the lookout for those of you who attend to bring your checkbook or some money because you might find your way into a heck of a equipment bargain. There you go. Is this is this a clinic or is it just a umpires like director? This here director? is our annual meeting that we go over uh, everything. Well, naturally, the elephant in the room will be the pay scale for everybody attending. And we, you know, food and drinks provided. So, um, you know, we give away awards. Um, guys who like the Iron Man of the year, the guy who did the most rookie of the year, we, we acknowledge them there at that. So this is, this is an actual meeting, but we will have clinics as well, training, because we do have a bunch of young guys inquiring through our system on the website, umpire t a tab up on top. You can click and go fill out a little questionnaire and it drops us right into our um, database to where we can communicate through there. So everybody who's filled that out has an open invite as well. But you know, if you're just wondering about what it's like, come out to hear what we have to say, ask some questions. There's a question and answer session. Where's Dave the and I there. It's at the uh, Laborers Hall, uh, the six, uh, the Laborers Hall in St. Peter's over there in um, St. Charles. I'm sorry, St. Charles. The the physical street address is on the website. Okay. It's on. Uh, I think Dave just posted it on Facebook. So yeah, we'll, I saw it. Yeah. He posted that out. Yeah. It'll be at 11 o'clock. You know, we'll eat and drink and have some uh, fun and question and answer session and give away some prizes and. Hopefully everybody can attend and remember no the only dumb question is the one you don't ask ask. So I, I love what I love what you're trying to do. It's not it's this is for everybody. This is for you and Dave. This is for the coaches, it's for the, the umpires, it's for the players. It's not just about, you know, what everybody thinks being a director is and you know, just raking in tons of cash. I mean, you are literally yeah providing back to these umpires saying thank you for the some of the things that they have to deal with i i think that event that you had the one umpires i think that was O'Fallon, missouri out at ozzy's was real hot wasn't it that 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 particular weekend yes, maybe that was one of the venues we were there Peruk, bmac it, it was yeah we were it was at six scorching. different complexes. yes it was extremely because uh, i think we were out at peru creek uh for the beginning of that tournament and i remember yeah, one of the guys did go down creating you know the void there so we were stuck with the, the one guy to finish out the day there on the field yeah so. and, and i just I, th I think it's real neat the reason i asked about the clinic this is just really random here one of the best things that i ever did as a coach was I went to a clinic, an umpiring clinic, not to learn how to umpire, but to learn maybe, you know, the slots that they're supposed to be in to better understand, like if I'm going to argue a call that I understand how it works. Uh, do you guys open those clinics up uh, to coaches or is it just strictly well, uh, it's for a, umpires? Well, it's a great question. It's something that we can entertain and do, but right now our, our main focus is, uh, you know, for some of the veterans who maybe want to come out and brush, haven't done it in like five or six years and maybe knock off the rust. But uh, what it was mainly focused for is the, the younger guys that are coming up. We just don't want to throw them in the fire. We want to prep them, teach them the slot, because that's the first thing if you're a coach. You know, you have a legitimate argument if the umpire doesn't hustle and he's out of position. That's, yeah. you know, that's, so if you're there, I mean, you're not going to make the right call every time, but do yourself a favor, come and learn the slots, where you're supposed to be when the runner's on base, because you can be the best baseball player in the world. But if you want to convert over to being an umpire, it's a different different animal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. just like it's, coaching, too, right? You can absolutely. be great at co uh, baseball, but not a good coach. You know, right. you could be a great coach and never play high school baseball. But, yeah, I mean, I'll talk to Dave about that. That's a great because that might be, you know, open invite to the coaches as well. That way they can get familiarized with some of the umpires as well and see what they're looking for, as, you know, as well. And the biggest thing that we have is be approachable. You know, be yeah. in position, hustle be approachable so. I love that and that's that's always in any clinic we've ever I've always I've been in is first and foremost hustle work hard get into position 
if if it's if it, even if it's still a little bit tough sometimes because the angles change because it might be a different throw this that but you're there in the space you're supposed to be make the best call you can be confident and make the call if you do that then i can explain to a coach whether he likes it or d- doesn't agrees or whatnot i can explain to the coach this is what i saw I bet you that's my call. I bet you 99% of the time that if I have a call that goes against me, if that umpire is right there and, and bangs my guy for that, I'm probably not going to come out of my seat. You know what I mean? And, and, and ask questions or, you know, try to approach them or anything of that nature. And, and Just even, because it's there, the professionalism of the out call, like if there's any indecision, um, you know, I might ask, but at the end of the day, like if that umpire is getting to that spot and I know where he should be, that helps me. It's like, so you know what? He did with the best that he could. And, right. and we'll move on. We're all right. amateurs, you know, at the end of the day. So, <laughs> yeah. um, I, you know, we're, we're, we're I'm good. Like, yeah. he, he, was a, he was professional at the pregame. It, it always starts, right, to, to be professional right off starts. the bat. Not, not with the, you know, I, hate, I don't like it when the other coach walks up with the chest high and mighty like he's King Kong, you know, and then the umpires want to match that. And it's, I'm sitting over there like, it's 14U baseball, like, Let's make sure we're doing the right things here because I don't want, you know, I don't need a coach coming up to me and tell me how cool he is. I don't care. I, I, I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about my guys competing. And, you know, umpires come in there if they're having, you know, because sometimes these umpires have to have long days. And when they're tired, they might be a little frustrated. Yeah. They might be a little hungry, you know. So you, you have to pay attention to those things and give them just a little bit of a, of a break. And, you know, it helps, it helps when you give them a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's another thing that that goes on behind the scenes. You know, we want to prepare these guys to come up because we want them to succeed. You know, like you said, that's the backbone of our company, and we want to provide all the tools and all the training to prep them to succeed. Because when they do good, we're going to do good. Well, because you're, you're only going to do is get teams back. Yeah, it's repeat business, and that's what we strive on. We it's we had a service. great. I there there was two young men I I don't remember their names that we had at Ozzy's and O'Fallon uh, that every time I got them I was just super excited about and then you always had one uh, that I remember that did some of the games later in the year would always travel like he traveled a long ways and he would never leave his stuff in the car you know and this is this is the one that drives every coach I think crazy he's leave his whole suitcase you know the down the right field left field line. And I was like, man, has that ball ever got caught in there? You know, he's like, man, I haven't had one ball get caught in there this year. And sure enough, in our game, we had a oh, ball get away. You and did it, it on purpose. <laughs> I, I moved it down there. It's like, can I get an extra base or three, you know, for uniform or equipment touching or whatever? Oh, and, uh, but no, he, he, won't, he wouldn't leave any stuff in his car. You know, he had, had a lot of money in, in, in that bag. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, I just I, – I, is a um, – Older man, uh, short guy. I'm, I'm, yeah, we do have a hair. bunch. We do have a bunch that travel, and uh, he traveled quite a ways. Yeah. like two, three hour drives that he'll do for their whole weekend. Yeah, that's good. He he crushes it. Yeah, and that's all that matters is we have people there so that the kids can show up, play, and I love that. So game seven baseball. Go to the website, umpires tab. Get the information. Uh, you can check them out on Facebook. Make sure you're following uh, game seven baseball on Facebook. Um, you can follow them on Twitter, uh, or I mean, uh, Instagram is at game seven tournaments. That's what Instagram is. And then I believe Twitter is, uh, at game seven baseball. So it. make sure you're following, uh, game seven baseball on those social media platforms. Cause, uh, I know Schmidt does a great job getting stuff out and up that way. Very good. Gentlemen. One other thing before we go, uh, Cardinal ticket information oh. and pricing is available. It became available Monday, so uh, just click on the Cardinal tab. Another good deal with the Cardinals this year uh, for our World Series. It's uh, the first bowl there. It's in a left field and right field uh, box seats, the first section. I think it's like a $58 face value for $23. Sweet. They do a fantastic job, the Cardinals do, of working with large groups. Yeah. Uh, we do it for our ticket sales as a fundraiser. Um, it, it is by far, I think, one of the coolest things to do. Yeah. Um, so you get your whole team there, you know what I mean? And, and for 23 bucks a, a head, you know, and you can have a family of four have a good day yeah. at the yard. I do have one more question over Dave. How was the ABCA? It was great. I oh, mean, I'm glad call. we went. Uh, man, it's like a 
like a, a playground for adults in there. There, anybody was everybody was in there. There was we we didn't even make it around the whole entire, entire complex the first day. We were with Kyle with Dinger Bats there, and he was off to the. There, there was like a another section of there. I was like, man, this is really big. He's like, heck, Dave, walk out there. That's where the main section is. I'm like, holy cow. But yeah, we had a good time there. Did a lot of networking. Got some good ideas. Talked with a lot of people and uh, got to meet with our Tennessee staff. Jody and her had a nice dinner and great time. Great people there. I mean, they do a great job for us there and they're well appreciated. So uh, good to see and catch up with all those people. But uh, yeah, the convention was great. Is it an event that's more geared towards vendors? Uh, trying to sell products and things like that, or is it have get, everything from? You get every walk of life in there. You get a bunch of coaches that come down, and then you can do a little networking with them off to the side. You know, I saw a bunch of bunch of Missouri coaches there. Yeah, local well, flavor. Well, yeah, that's well, in Nash Vegas. So I mean, of course you're gonna have. Well, some we Missouri did make it to there. the we did make it to the strip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was quite impressed with that as well. Nash oh. Vegas. You're the second person I've heard say that. Well, we call Winsville Wince Vegas, so. Wince Vegas. Oh, I don't know why that guy called Wince Vegas, but it's Winsville. It's a small town, but yeah, Kyle, yeah. I talked to Kyle. He goes to the shows all the time, and uh, he said it was. Uh, they got a lot of it. Very productive, and it, it was. It was definitely. Uh, well, they do everything from. I mean, they have speakers there too, right? Yeah, Talking they about have speakers going on the whole day. Just, yeah, so there's a they're everything. scheduled. So if you want to see a certain one, you just set time up. You know, a lot of time to go over, catch him at the 11 to 11.30 time slot. They have them going all, the, all day long while the convention's going. Did they announce where next year's going to be? I think it's in Dallas, Texas. I, I, I think. Now, don't hold me to that, but I think it's in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, it is announced. But I got a lot of things uh, going on. Yeah, I was, I was just curious because, you know, our coaching staff said they, they would have liked to have gone. Um, yeah, it's – uh, so it's, it's one of those things. I was just curious. Yeah, I saw, you know, you know Jaws and, and uh, Craddock in there from the Gators and the Tigers, and they brought some of their staff along. So it's kind of a, a good little bonding deal. And uh, Matt Meyer was there with his crew. So, yeah. Yeah, I saw a lot of big clubs there. Collinsville Extreme was there. Um, their side of, you know, the, those guys were there. And so – um, I was like, nah, I just, I think I want to go to visit, not necessarily have a, a booth because we're, I'm, I'm small. There's no reason for me to have that. Uh, I, I don't attract to none of that. I'm not a national organization. Yeah, I, I don't know how much you would get out of it, but by a booth, but I think it would be good for you and your staff to kind of bond and go network with other people because there's, there's man, there's a lot of people there. Well, Kyle it? Drone's a guy that I've, I've known for years, so I can, so you know, connect with him and then connect with those kinds of people, the people from Pitch Logic, the you know, Diamond Kinetics, Blast Motion. Uh, sports recruits, like there's so many vendors down there that I think would help my program, especially if we do get bigger. Um, that helps. I just, I just wanted to know the experience, uh, and for our fans that watch the show, our coaches that watch the show, it's well worth it. You know, it's uh, like you being a facility owner too. They have everything from synthetic, synthetic turf people to like the the hooks on the, on that hold your the screen that go back and forth, and and then the netting. Uh, pitching machines. I was uh, say pitching mounds is what I need right now. Pitching mounds, there, <laughs> all of them were there, and they went from here to here. I A can every. only imagine. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, I, well, there you go. What is it? A C A B C A A B C A uh, American Baseball Coaches Association, maybe. Yeah. Look at Dave knocking it out. Tell there you, you go. You've got your That's acronyms down, bro. That was a good guess. A, a, a B, C. B, E, O, oh, I think. It's one of them. A, B, C. She said, she said That's all you got to remember. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, great. We got to close out here. But, yeah, it was, it was well worth it. And the guys who organized that did a great job because it was good. very large. As always, appreciate uh, Dave taking the time. We're, we're, we're heading to the season. Next month, uh, we're going to be uh, we're gonna be baseballing. Right? right around the corner. Can't wait. Yeah, throw that up there. Throw Getting it. excited. Hopefully Remember, don't forget. Get some Remember, warm weather. Subscribe. Throw down in the comment your name. We love Prime Sports Midwest. That'll get you entered to win the bucket of baseballs, the fungo, and the hitting net. Uh, we hey, got. We're, we're working to get to a thousand. Forget about it. Uh, oh, That's right. And I'll br- Mitch, I'll bring you the bucket. The hitting zone will have two free. Lessons hitting and Field. fielding. So I won't. I promise. I'll get that in my brain. I promise you. I'll take care of you. So we appreciate that. Man. And a lot of great stuff happening. Dave, thanks, buddy. Hey, thanks for having me on. Mitch. Always, sir. Good job, guys.
Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We do appreciate it. Glad you're with us. Remember, don't forget to hit that dinger, right? Because that's what we do. Oh, yeah. We ain't, there's no doubles anymore. It's dingers. Dingers are best. And yeah. swing for it. Everybody, have a great day in the Lord. All you pitchers, keep throwing strikes, right, dude? Got to do it. That's right. Hitters, hit dingers. Hit dingers. Love it. We'll see you all next time.